Sit. Good boy. So we only say the commands once, even when you got like crazy stuff going on, like carts and everything. Good. Uh, stay is built in to sit, so you don't have to say stay. And you'll see me, you know, throughout the videos, I, we don't say stay. The dog doesn't know what stay means. Why you stay if, if you can build that into down and sit? No. Okay. His little idiosyncrasy, like so many dogs, is to collapse into a down sometimes when they're kind of distracted out of a sit. So if he screws up like that and breaks out of a sit in any way, oh, you can pass by. It's okay. Um, then you just say no. Notice I did a little do-over circle and reset, walked in, said no, walked into him, put him back. You don't say S-I-T again because then you're repeating the command and teaches him that you're going to say it and say it and say it. So if you really want him to be ultra solid with his commands, teach him you're going to say it once, he's going to hear it once, and he has to stay there. No. Okay. Just like that. And then if he stays there, he's going to get a reward in a couple of seconds. Also. His collapsing like that makes us be here longer. So it teaches them, hey, if you want to continue with this and finish and get your reward, you need to do it right. Do it the right way. Good. And I'm doing all this stuff out in public so you can see him doing it in a real life context around distractions. And so what we teach the dogs, instead of even dealing with that old fashioned stay thing, we know. We teach the dogs to wait for the for the release command. That's what's important now. Nope. See that that's a command that I would give a dog to call him to me. So he was distracted. Nope. That man was patting his leg. That's okay. This is the kind of stuff that happens in real life. That's why it's so great to practice when stuff is going on. We got the Amtrak train right there. Super loud. <laughs> okay, so now we got a little good sit stay. Good. So I could either release him to be free or I could release him to walk with me. Right now, since I haven't done that yet, I'm going to release him to be free. All you do is pat his chest and say, go. Now he knows that he's free until you call him back to come.